and I started hitting him in the head with the rock. And then he started yelling for his friend to come and start uh, to knock me out again. A home invasion in the middle of the day tonight. The suspects are still on the run. This is Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Anna Canzano. He thought he was going to die. A Southeast Portland man explains how his attackers preyed on his desire to help a stranger. And this all happened last week and at his home on Southeast Cesar Chavez Boulevard. Jennifer Dowling has the story. It was on the porch behind me that the three suspects carried out the ambush. A woman was able to persuade Josh to open the door, and two men were waiting outside to rush in. I was just fighting for my life at that point. I, was, I really thought that how these guys are going to kill me. Josh Morrison has a metal plate and staples in his head following a robbery, assault, and police investigation that all began with a frantic knock at his door. She looked like she needed some help really bad. Look, her, um, her mascara was running down her face. A tall white woman with blonde hair and brown eyes told him that she needed to hide from her abusive boyfriend. But when he let her inside... Um, she started punching me in my face immediately. And I, I, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Josh pushed her back outside where two men were waiting. They started punching him, forcing him back inside in a headlock. And I was pretty much in and out of consciousness like seven different times. Two men in their mid-30s with olive skin and dark hair bound Josh with zip ties while the woman went through the house looking for Josh's safe with his life savings inside. They knew exactly what they were and doing and looking for. After the woman yelled, found it, the men grabbed Josh's own gun and demanded more money. There was a shotgun to my face. They pulled the trigger, but it wasn't loaded. That's when they started hitting him. They broke the, the bone. Um, they chipped the bone right here and cracked it. The trio trashed the house, putting holes in the wall, and threatened to kill his cat, Watson, breaking her shoulder. I literally thought that I was going to die and my, 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 my kitty was going to die. Then it grew quiet. I realized this is my chance to finally get, get, uh, get out of the house. A passerby saw him and called 911, and police surrounded the house, but the suspects had vanished. These people are dangerous, and they need to be caught. I'm so thankful I'm alive, and my, and my cat, yes, I'm so, I'm so thankful. A GoFundMe page has been set up for Josh. We'll put a link to that on our website at coin.com. In Southeast Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin6 News.